I am in the garage and now I'm going to show you something my front uh, trunk and my rear trunk is full of shuttle adapters yes I got um, I ordered some 15 today uh, I did give one away to uh, Morgan you know the tall guy who uh, helped me with um, world record yes hypermiling and then I will also give one to uh, Jürgen with the Larsen yeah he's been uh, helping me with the uh, nimbo test trips and the uh, race trips but anyway the remaining will be um landed out so um uh, there's another there's a separate video about what the shadow mode adapter is so uh, i will link to it you can check it out if you want to know what i'm talking about so anyway i'm going to go in here because the the acoustics in the millennium falcon is good yes so um so what's up with the shadow mode adapter thingy? Okay. Um, I ordered... Uh, how much do I have now? I will have like 12 or something available. And uh, I will add some more. Maybe add some 15 more. And what's up with all the shadow mode adapters? Well, uh, I want to lend them out to people. So uh, my idea and uh, my plan is that I will have these shadow mode adapters located all over Norway pretty much. Uh, where the superchargers uh, can't cover it, we will have shadow mode adapter covering the rest. So I might also ship some to Sweden, Denmark, maybe even to the rest, some, some other parts of, of um, Europe. But as for now, I will just limit this to Norway to see how it goes and all that. And I'll have more control of it if uh, it's in Norway. So basically, if uh, you are someone living in uh, let's say Netherlands or Belgium or Germany and you want to do crazy stuff like uh, drive to the North Cape or do uh, a Norway trip you can uh, st stop by in Oslo for instance and borrow one of these adapters and borrow it for free but you know <laughs> just to be sure I have to take a deposit or someone I mean I will probably let someone else handle the, the lend out you know? So you can just call his number, uh, make an appointment, say you need to borrow an adapter, okay, fine, yeah. F name a place, and then you borrow an adapter for free, but you have to pay uh, 400 euros or 3,600 krone for the adapter. But when you deliver it, you get it back, you get all the money back, so you uh, can borrow it for free. And what's the point of the adapter? Well, you see, um, um, you get, if you charge like on AC, like on this one, if you charge on the Type 2 AC, you can get up to um, 100 kilometers per hour if you have dual charger. And if you don't have dual charger, you charge at 50 kilometers per hour. So um, many, actually many cars don't have dual chargers. And nowadays you can't even order the dual chargers. So you have to retrofit it. So um, with the channel adapter, you have to use these specific shadow mode chargers, pretty much the chargers that um, Leaf and Nissan Leaf and the BMW i3 and those cars use. Yeah, you can use those chargers and you get whooping 200 kilometers per hour. That's quite a lot. And um, yeah, so <laughs> for instance, if you need to charge almost from almost empty to full, it will take you um, well, depending on uh, your charging, on dual charger, single charger. With a single charger, it will take about eight hours or something. Seven, eight hours. With dual charger, you can get away with about four hours. But with Chanamo, two hours. Yeah, maybe even slightly less than two hours. So Chanamo is um, two to four times faster than uh, the regular AC charging. And um, um, I bought this with the credits I gained from... Uh, from the referral program. I Actually, I didn't know what the heck to buy. Do I need something? Do I need rims? No, I don't need anything from the Tesla shop. I might buy maybe, you know, the winter, the, the, the winter sock, auto sock or something, uh, in case I get stuck in winter. I might try that. Maybe I'll buy wrist bars. I can load up something on the roof, but other than that, nah. And, my idea is just that the, the shadow mode charger, well, my idea is that uh, charging is like the Achilles heel of uh, electric cars. 
So um, you want to have the fastest charging available. So if you have supercharger, then you use supercharger. If supercharger is not available where you're going, um, you can choose shutter mode if that's possible. If not, then you have to go to the lower tier, like say uh, 22 kilowatt AC, you know. So um, I figured, what the heck, just buy a bunch of adapters and then spread them out. I will probably have adapters in Oslo, uh, in Bergen, Stavanger, uh, Trondheim, and also oh, on the northern parts. So Svolvær. You know, last year we went on North Cape trip and we were stuck in Svolvær for like, uh, I don't remember, three, four hours. That could have been one and a half, two hours. The same thing when we went on a, on a Europe road trip last summer in 2014. Yeah, time goes fast. So. And um, we were stuck at this uh, gas station in, uh, in um, where was it again? France. Same stuff there. They had a shadow bar adapter, but they also had a Type 2 plug. And we had to use a Type 2 plug. And we were stuck there for uh, almost four hours. It could have been one and a half, two hours. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to experience that again. So that that's why I will just hand out these for free, just borrow them. Uh, same thing, actually, when, like I mentioned before, it doesn't have to be uh, foreigners coming to Norway. Also Norwegians, next next summer or whenever. If you want to go on a, on a Europe road trip, you can just stop by in Oslo or wherever, maybe Bergen or wherever you start from. Grab one of those adapters and um, use them in uh, Europe. They're supposed to work all over Europe. So, um, yeah. Because, um, Okay, the supercharger network is pretty good. It, you're pretty well covered, but there are still places where you're not covered. And maybe, actually, maybe you'll find out that, well, Shadow Mode is great. You um, you get nice use of it when you're on a trip. And maybe some people also figure out that, hey, I kind of need this uh, on a regular basis. Uh, I want to I have some weird uh, trips sometimes, and I need to boost up my uh, uh, battery, you know. So um, maybe uh, they figure out that uh, they actually want one of these in uh, in a trunk. So that's fine. Yeah. And speaking of charging speed, in the beginning I was talking about I did an earlier re review of it and I didn't really like it. But uh, on a second thought, you know, so if you charge a Type Two AC, you get approximately 100 kilometers per hour. But let's assume that you have a dual charger. So if you have dual charger, you get 100 kilometers per hour. So if you want to charge 200 kilometers, you have to spend two hours charging. And in Norway, at least for, let's say, Fortum, let me see, I'm going to show you this. So if you use one of the Fortum uh, um, charging stations, you use one of these, beep, and then it will cost 60 kroner per hour or, or one kroner per minute. So to charge 200 kilometers, you have to stay there for two hours and it will cost you 120 kilometers. If you use Shadow it takes about half that time. So uh, you would charge in just one hour, but the Shadow costs cost 250 per minute. So it costs 150 kilometers. So you see, <laughs> you get where I'm going. It will cost you 150 kilometers versus 120 kilometers. So you save 30 kilometers but you have to spend one extra hour. And that's simple math in Norway. You say one hour or 20, uh, 30 kroner. Um, the hourly rate in Norway, you know, like minimum wage or average wage is uh, probably like 150 to 200 kroner per hour. Norwegians they earn a lot. So in, in euros, that will be like, you would say four euros per hour, but Norwegians, they make like uh, 20, 20 to 30 euros per hour. So it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Just, uh, well, okay, except uh, if you're like, if you're in a rush, like, you know, when I was in a rush during that trip, the, the, the urgent nimble trip, I, uh, yeah, I posted a while ago. 
on that trip, I was kind of waiting for, for the charger. And it happened a couple of times that uh, I get this urgent thing and then I haven't charged my car fully enough. Uh, so I would be sitting and waiting for the charge. In that like situation, or if you're on a, on a road trip or something, and you have family in the back there and all that, uh, you know, you just want to uh, charge as fast as possible. However, if you're not in a rush, and you need to spend a night at the hotel or you're having a dinner and or something like that then you might not need it but i guess in um in a typical road trip there will be situations where you want to charge faster so um yeah that's my idea i will also see if um, i can um i can make like i can do some arrangement with some places you know the shadow adapters are usually placed at, um, at um, gas stations and I need to have some gas stations with 24 hour opening uh, opening hours op always open you know, maybe if I can uh, let them uh, handle this for me and they could hand out I mean, th there should be also be a sign at the shadow mode charger saying that uh, are you a Tesla owner uh, you can borrow a shadow mode charger for free in the just go to the gas station and you have to pay this amount and then you get it free <clears throat> and also the, the, well it, it will take some extra time for the for the employees there but they will most likely get some uh, customers maybe once the customer is in the gas station maybe they want the coffee or something and uh, if they're kids you know maybe they want to eat there and then charge for half an hour or one hour or something so it should be a win-win situation but all of this will yeah, maybe I'll uh, let someone else handle this. I will just get the adapter and then maybe uh, keep a few for myself. A couple, like one, two extra in case someone wants to borrow it from me. But I will also find someone in... Well, eventually I have to move to Buda. So I have to find someone in Oslo, Bergen and all those places. And also some people also um, suggest that I would put some in... Uh, Denmark yeah, that's actually a good idea because Denmark is pretty small and they have shadow mode chargers and uh, mm, yeah so maybe it was Sweden but I think more Denmark has higher density of uh, Teslas for now so if Sweden get more Teslas yeah maybe also Sweden so um, but anyway what was I saying again I was thinking about um, yeah so I will let some some key people maybe someone I trust someone uh, yeah who also very important they have to be available because they could get an SMS or something from a stranger or someone and saying oh, yeah, I need laptop tomorrow or soon or now even so I should try to spread them out a little bit so that each person actually have only have one or two adapter so maybe also try to implement that maybe on charge map or somewhere so that uh, some kind of community map where people look for uh, charging stations and then there will be a small note info saying that oh you know if you have tesla you can use the shadow mode adapter and borrow it for free and all that so yeah so um, we'll see i mean this is um i haven't tried i mean i haven't done all this i have to register all the all the shadow mode adapters they have a serial number and also this is small detail technical detail each shadow adapter actually has um, a firmware and all those adapters I bought today they have been recently updated with the firmware so from now now from time to time they need to go to the server center and update the firmware why I mean the adapter doesn't suddenly stop working but uh, they might find out that um, as you know when you plug it in it will do some kind of handshakes or communication with the with the charging stations and maybe some charging stations can't handle the heat yeah not like superchargers but anyway so uh, some charging stations actually <laughs> overheat or something if you uh, like pull out too much current uh, over time so uh, the shadow mode adapter or the car together try to throttle the power because you actually get only 40 kilowatt not 50 kilowatt from the shadow mode so um, maybe from time to time there will be an update and uh, I have to figure out how to update all the shadow mode adapters uh, but I think I'll keep some kind of spreadsheet with um, all the serial numbers who has them and all that I don't have to micromanage them so, because if someone borrows them I don't have to know um, about that so that will be whoever is re in responsible of those adapters in that city and all that 
So um, yeah, this is um, you know one way for me to uh, give something back to the community. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think.